Hi, I'm Cynthia for Arby's Cafe, and today I have with me Megan. Hi. Hi, Megan. Thank you for coming back. We love to have you here all the time. Yeah, thank you for having me. Oh, it's always a pleasure. And today we're doing something very special. Special because we are knitting. Yeah. <laughs> and like a lot of you out there, you have more than one hobby. So we love making jewelry, but we have another hobby. Maybe you have three, four, five, I don't know. <laughs> Our second <laughs> hobby is knitting. And when you love beads like we do, then you want to put beads everywhere. So why not on a scarf? Why not um, on yarn and knit with them? Oh yes, we love to mix our hobbies. <laughs> <laughs> we do. And we have something very special. Now we're selling some patterns with the knitting. And we have here some, uh, our first pattern, our first knitting pattern. So there is one for a beaded knitting scarf and then some beaded boot cuff. They're so cute. It's so trendy to have the, the boot cuff now. Mm -hmm. Then we have some beaded headbands. Those are really cute too. Mm -hmm. And then a, another beading strap scarf. They have the Seahawks color. Oh yeah, course. very sporty. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And so all those patterns come with um, some uh, beaded, those big eyes needle that you need to uh, string your beads on the on the yarn. That's the hardest part. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> and then for this pattern, uh, you need a crochet hook, and they are very, very small crochet. So we have two sizes of different crochet hooks that goes in the pattern with. Oh, wonderful. And those are great. And then you choose your colors. You choose the colors of the yarn. Mm -hmm. You choose the colors of your beads. And the way how I do that, because it can be overwhelming when you go to the yarn store, you don't know what to do. Definitely. I grab my beads and I go to the yarn store with my beads. Oh, and really? then I put them in front of the yarn and see what match together. Oh, great idea. Yeah. And, and don't <laughs> hesitate to really mix your yarn. Like on this one, I use a plain color mm -hmm. yarn. But then, hey, what about a yarn that has different colors? Oh yeah, those are so pretty, the graduated colors. I know, that makes yeah. such, a, such a big difference. Yeah. And like here I did white, but hey, that blend works really well also mm -hmm. with blue. So just play and you just have to practice and, and feel how the color goes with the yarn. But mm -hmm. I guarantee you will have a lot of fun. Oh, definitely. And there's so many blends to choose from too. It could, we it could do. be a lot of fun. <laughs> we do. <laughs> so um, before we're showing you how to do those steps, let's make a little of uh, <laughs> Let's make some space around us. Okay. <laughs> let's put that there. And here I have some different ways of placing the bead in the yarn. Here is just knitting with beads. Here is the slip stitch method, um, both the same way, but one is tighter than the other one. Oh. And this is here uh, placing the bead with a crochet hook. Okay. And then Megan will show us also a special way is uh, placing beads in between stitches and I cannot wait for her to show us that. Mm -hmm. But let's do first just a simple one, okay. knitting with beads. Okay. So we started here, a little swatch, and I'm going to do the first stitch. It's always easier to have a couple stitch first before you knit with bead. And I already have my beads pretty strong on the yarn. So I'm sliding one bead, and you don't want it too close to the needle. I mean about this way because it's going to go inside the, the your stitch. So you knit your second stitch and you bring your yarn and the bead is in the back and I tend to push with my finger. I tend to push the bead out. To hold it into place? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to knit another one and do it again. Right. Yeah. My, mine went in the back so I just push it yes, through. Yes. Okay. Just push it through. Okay. This is so easy. Mm -hmm. Like that. So I'm going like I'm knitting, bring my needle, my yarn in the back. You see how my bead goes out very easily oh because yeah. I'm pushing also with my finger. And oh go this yeah, way. you make Thank that look you. so go. easy. <laughs> oh, there mine goes. That is easy. It is easy. <laughs> yes. So there is a, a, a different uh, with this method is your uh, beads are goes a little in an angle way, like diagonal. Oh, okay, because it's sitting on one side of the stitch? Yes. Okay. So I keep going, I'm gonna do, 
And then I want to show you when you purl, uh, sometimes the bead wants to move, and I'm going to show you how to stop that. I'm going to go ahead, Megan, I'm just going to purl. And my second stitch. So here the bead's going to want to move, and I'm kind of push, putting my thumb on my bead and stitching to keep it inside, to okay. keep it on the other way. Okay. Like that. And you know what? If the bead slide, you just put it back, you push on the stitch, you know, with your finger and you place the bead back in the front. Okay. Like that again. So you see I'm holding the bead with my thumb every time I go. Got it. I'm holding the bead here and I slide my stitch and okay. I make the other one. And if it goes in the wrong place, it's really easy to just push yes. it back, right? Yes. So right now I'm going to do moment. one like, let's see, it's going to go in the wrong place like okay. that. So I'm going to turn my work oh, here. Oh, okay. I'm you like, can okay. see it pretty clearly. Yes. And then just tell it where you to go. Can exactly. <laughs> Then I'm just gonna slide it between those two stitches. Okay. So that is pretty simple. Yeah. Right? So this is the print strung. You have your bead on the yarn. Okay, right. so let's do the other method where I do the slip stitch method. Okay. So I've got my, let's do two stitches first. Mm -hmm. Then, so there it is. I'm bringing my yarn in front of my work. Okay. This is before? Before knitting, Be yes. Okay. And then I'm placing a bead right against the needle here. I'm, gone, I'm not knitting the next stitch. I'm just slipping a stitch. Okay. And I bring, I hold, I'm going to hold the bead here and I bring my yarn in the back of my work and I make it tight. Okay. And then I knit the second stitch. Okay. And here you can see it's in between two stitch, but it's on a piece of yarn. Oh, right it's on top there. of it. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to do it again. Okay. I'm bringing my yarn in front of my work. With a bead. Yes, I'm sliding the bead. Okay. And that. Hold the bead close to the needle. Mm -hmm. Sliding a stitch. I'm going to slide the stitch this way, the pearl wise, and then bringing my yarn in the back and knitting the second stitch. Okay, I think I got it. Good, good. <laughs> and then the beads are placed differently, they place horizontally this time. Oh, they're always, okay, gotcha. Instead of just sitting on one side of the yes. stitch. Yes. That's what this one is, yes, right? Yes, it is. Okay, so there's the difference between what we're doing in the beginning and what we're doing now. Exactly. Okay. So I'm doing it again. I'm going to slip a stitch, bring my yarn in the back, and knit the second one. And then when you purl, it's really easy. There is no, um, there is no different. The, the beads stay on the stitch, so you can purl very quickly. Okay. It's very easy. So you're doing every other row then, so that you don't have to worry about slipping while you purl, yes. right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. That makes it easier. Yes, I'm going to purl quickly. Okay. And then I'm going to show you with the crochet hook. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do with the crochet. And I have some beads here. And like I said, the crochets give me more freedom. So I have a, a crochet hook. And I, I'm going to start by doing two stitches. Okay. And then. I'm picking up a bead with a crochet and go under my stitch and I grab the stitch with a crochet and what I like to do is pulling on the yarn and push with my nail, I'm pushing the beads and then the yarn's gonna go through. Oh, just slipping it over. Yes, oh, it's all that easy. Okay, yeah, and so then easy. you bring your stitch back on the needle. Oh. And then you can knit that one. Okay. So I'm going to do another one. And I'm thinking, oh, I chose another color. Okay, let's <laughs> choose this pretty blue here. Love it. 
So I bring my yarn onto my, my stitch onto my crochet hook. Mm -hmm. I pull on the yarn a little and I slide the bead up and sometimes it won't go right away, but I slide mm -hmm. the bead. That's why you need the, the really yarn. tiny crochet yes, hook. Up, and that happens. Yeah, those crochet hooks are so small. And then I'm pulling on the yarn. Wow, okay. Like that, I put the stitch back on my needle and I knit. And I, I love that you have so many different ways to uh, knit with beads because he give you the opportunity to try different things and you can do it in so many different ways. And I love how differently the beads are on the yarn. You know, some are straight, some are horizontal. Oh yeah. It, you can really do a several patterns. So I'm gonna do the last one. Okay. I'm pulling on my yarn and I'm sliding. And here, as, here I missed a little of a uh, thread. So I make sure that I'm grabbing all the thread, yes. And then I'm placing the stitch back on my needle and I'm gonna knit it. And that's the crochet method. Beautiful. Like that. And then on, on this, with the crochet, the uh, beads are going up, are going vertically. Oh, okay, yeah, yes. they're sitting, like they're hooked onto the stitch. Yes, yeah. exactly. Okay. Yes. And when, so like I said, with the crochet, you can do your pattern as you want. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I started my strap one, I didn't know what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. But I thought, hey, I can choose where I want to put my bead. Oh yeah, so that's, that's so why nice. It's so, it's so much easier. Yeah. Okay, Megan, what about your method? Okay, I'm going to show you how to slip a bead between stitches. Okay, let me make some um, space And here. that's what I did here in this necklace, which is on our website. Um, I used the two beads mm -hmm. and I slipped them between stitches of knitting here and then just stitched it onto this chain. I love that. It looks very laddery. Yes. Um, and so the technique is really easy. I also did it with this tiny little swatch here. Okay. Um, so you went with one bead and then you increase the yes. several beads? Yes. When you're using tiny beads, it's much more noticeable if you use three or more. Right. Um, with the two beads, you know, you only need one. Five, that's um, true. But I'm going to show you and we're going to slip three just so that okay. it's, it's more noticeable what's going on here. Okay. So here. We're just going to knit a few. Okay. Get somewhere in the middle probably of our swatch. Um, so that is pretty strong method too. You need to have your beads on your yarn. Yes. So I'll just knit a few. And then we're going to slip. Let's do three beads because okay. it's really noticeable. Up as close to your previous work as you can. Oh, I see. Leave a little excess yarn there and then mm -hmm. just continue knitting the next stitch. Okay. And when you do, um, you're wrapping the yarn around your needle to pull it through. I like to hold the beads right. away so they don't wrap around the needle too, right. just like when you're knitting with a, with a bead, um, and just knit the stitch. Okay. And there should be some extra yarn in between there. It's sort of like stretching the stitches apart right. um, and just taking up the space in between. Okay. It's, it can be nice to uh, start with one and increase, but since I'm showing you here, I just want to do three, so it's right. much more obvious what's okay. happening. I wonder if I tied my too much because the beads tend to crumble together, or is that? Yeah, so that's sometimes why you would use um, one in the beginning and oh, increase. Right. Um, but just you know, so you could see clearly what's happening. Yeah, you know, I guess I guess that's what happened. To, yeah, but sometimes that can be a really pretty effect too, you know, creating mm -hmm. some kind of a, a ladder ridge in between where it pokes up. Right. Um, but this method is really nice because you can see it on the front and the back. It shows through, so it's not right. sitting on top of your stitch mm -hmm. or behind it. It's, it's actually in between. So. Okay, so let's do that. Let's do that again. So I'm bringing three beads. Right, mm -hmm. as close as I can to the needle. Yeah. And then I knit the other one, but I make sure that my beads are not going 
um, across the needle. Yeah, you don't want your beads to wrap back. around. Yeah, okay. just keep them shoved back there. And then I just need. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I'm pretty tight. That's what's happening yeah. with me. <laughs> yeah, that's and like, okay. You can try one if you want. If that, if that's that's true. Helpful. It just it's a lot easier to see what's going on once you've got a few rows too. So yes, we just we can um, just knit the rest and go back to where we were and okay. add so another row. Then when you turn your work. Do you just, uh, you keep adding beads basically? Yes, yeah, so you'll want to repeat that same row. Okay. And so right here, this is knit um, from one end to the other. And so if you just, this is a row, this is a row, right. this is a row. If you keep repeating the same pattern, they start to stack. Right. And that's when it stays really visible. Okay. So if you want to repeat that row, then we can see really clearly what's, see. what's happening here. And that is really cute. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. really See, cute. Oh, yeah, see, once you yes. start stacking, yeah, they just spread really it out. Good. Yeah. That's really good. Thank you so much, Megan, for showing that. Yeah. That's a great, a great way of uh, knitting with beads, too. Mm -hmm. And thank you for coming with us of course. and being with us today. Thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure to have you. So come back. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for joining us today at our Beats Cafe and make sure to subscribe to our uh, email newsletter to get our great promotion and all our new ideas mm -hmm. um, au revoir merci beaucoup à bientôt